our travels today we're taking a look at this here which is a slim and light wallet which is on kickstarter or indiegogo i can't remember which one um but this is a company from hong kong and it's called pun cube or pun cube i'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to pronounce that um, but it's an interesting design because it has a soft side which is kind of a faux leather here and then this is like a little pouch and then the other side is like a harder plastic with an elastic bit here for notes and then another interesting feature is that you can open up the side here and i'm not sure if they include the multi-tool with all of them or if this is an extra uh, thing on the kickstarter but they include this nice multi-tool with you know bottle opener and all that sort of thing on the bottom side and then on the top side there's actually space for two keys uh, obviously without the keychain but you can put two keys in there and then the final nice hidden feature in this is that it is magnetic so you can actually pull this one off uh, and then you have your you know notes or whatever you want to put here like cards and then this one actually because this the magnets in this side you can use this to attach to your phone so i have my iphone here and i can attach that to the back and then i can use this as a kickstand to hold the phone upright so it is quite an interesting uh, idea and i think that it's definitely, it definitely has its uses and could be very useful in a lot of different situations. The other cool thing they do is if you don't have an iPhone with a magnet on the back, they include these adhesive magnets. So you can stick that on the back of your phone or wherever you want to put this and then that magnetizes it. Quite strong, I should say. So then of course you can just reattach those and you can use this in your pocket as a normal wallet. And I'll just show you a few examples. So I have some leftover money from Singapore and Malaysia. Uh, I like to keep those as kind of souvenirs and I have a couple of transit cards as well which I also keep as souvenirs so I'll just see how many I can fit in here. Six cards I think uh, and it doesn't feel too bad so you can put at least six cards in there and I guess getting out the getting them out in order might be a problem so if you have like you want to get the middle one you have to go like that so not too bad but uh, definitely an interesting way of carrying your cards and then of course so the money is supposed to go on the front and you would have to I guess fold it in half and then pop it down the front so I personally don't really I'm not a big fan of money clips where the money is like just hanging on the outside I do prefer to keep money folded and inside like in the zip here or um, you know, in, in like different pockets like this so this is my preferred way to carry money if I'm carrying money. And this one has separate compartments, so you could put coins in here and keys and stuff. So for me personally, I find this to be the best travel wallet. Uh, and, you know, just in general, a nice wallet. But this one is definitely has its uses. Uh, and I can see why people might like this, especially because it has the magnetic feature. Uh, and you can put keys and even coins in the top part here. And then you can use that as a phone stand, whereas you can't do that with this one. But yeah, getting your money out, fairly easy to do. And if you just have like one note, you can fold it. But in there, I, one of the reasons I don't like money clips is like this. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. Uh, you know, it's, it's always a two-handed process and just quickly getting a note out, you have to like get all of it out and then you have to fold it and count it. Uh, whereas with something like this, for me, uh, I just, hold it open with one hand and pop it in and you see it fits without needing to fold it again uh, but again uh, I know some people do like money clips in this kind of design and style so it's definitely an interesting design that I think is worth checking out I'll put a link to the Kickstarter of the Indiegogo in the description below so do check them out if you're interested and be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to with the next video